So, what is qi stagnation? You might have had that given to you as a diagnosis before. What does it actually mean if qi is stagnant? Well, essentially it's, it just means that qi is not flowing either systemically through the whole body or in one place. And the first way that this is going to manifest is if there's pain in the body. So if you've got local pain in the body anywhere, in that particular place, qi is not moving through sufficiently and it's stuck and building up and that qi stagnating is creating pain. How does this happen? Well, qi wants to be flowing smoothly all the way through the body in all of its particular directions that it's meant to flow. And that is governed by the liver in Chinese medicine. So I'm not just talking about the organ and all the amazing things that your liver does. One of the liver's most fundamental roles from Chinese medicine's perspective is governing the smooth flow of qi all the way through the body in every place that that qi is meant to flow. If it's uh, not able to do that, it's gonna result in qi stagnation, which could be pain. It could also be things like PMS signs and symptoms or irritability or anger or frustration or anything that uh, anything where you're not feeling peaceful and at ease essentially some of the biggest things that affect the flow of liver chi is stress stress affects all of us but overworking not getting enough rest you know having a, a huge pile of tasks or to do's that you've got to get through and just always feeling like you're and chasing your own tail, that kind of stress building up can have a really big impact on the liver being able to smoothly conduct that chi throughout the whole body. So stress is a really big one in terms of chi stagnation. And sometimes that emotional thing I was talking about, can it can go either way. So there might be liver chi stagnation and it manifests as irritability and anger and frustration. Or somebody might already have a tendency for those emotions, short temper, quick to anger, rage even, and those emotions might be the thing that stops chi from flowing well in the first place and it results in liver chi stagnation. So managing our stress is really, really important for managing the smooth flow of chi throughout the body. And however you have found a way to do that, it's important that you honor that. And it's, it could be something like your movement program, you know, a long walk, making sure that you've got nice healthy boundaries around when you're getting your work done and when you've got time for yourself. Downtime, resting, whether it's meditating, reading a book, whatever it might be for you, those things are really important to encourage the smooth flow of chi through your body and your mind.